All right, you guys, PSA 103 here. Um, so I went ahead and I got me the TDI folder right here. Well, what I thought was a folder. Anyways, long story short, I got it installed, shot a mag through it, um, and I went to go fold it. You know, it says non-folding on it. I didn't quite understand that because there was no videos on it. And I was like, how the fuck could it be a non-folder if it's on a side folder, right? Essentially, you know, I thought it was side fold. But no, that's not the case. I went to go fold it, and there's too much material right here. So I went to go bend it outwards. It literally bent the pin. And um, that required a punch, a big hammer, to get it out and destroying the pin. Thank God it did not destroy my rear trunnion. Thank God. Was that been really pissed? So I got me a new pin. Um, I got it in there. And this is a thick stock does not fold now you probably could take material off right here for it to fold but i don't know if it folds straight and that might take away like the stiffness of it i don't know if you'd want to do that long story short i should have went with j mac and um i would have went with j mac if they would have been in stock but they're so high in demand everybody's buying them okay so let, let me get into the stock now itself the buffer tube it does feel nice whenever i you know cheek weld all that stuff Feels really nice as an AR buffer tube should feel on an AK. Um, I've only fired a mag and a half through it with this, and I did like it a lot. The only problem I have is that this is a side folding weapon, and I want it to have side folding capabilities, right? I mean, that's what I bought it for. And that's kind of annoying that I don't have that capability anymore. So I, I'm going to still run it and see how I feel about it. But I'm kind of pissed off about the part to where I cannot side fold it. So pretty much that's that. And time will tell how I actually feel about it. And I'll give an honest review about that. So I've had a few, a few of you guys ask me about the TWS. And, you know, I've been kind of explaining myself about it, how I like it and shit. But I'm just going to show you what I went through with this TWS. Now, I want to mention that this TWS is awesome. I love this thing. And... I did have to do some work to it, you know, for it to be to where I'm comfortable to say I love it, you know, and to recommend it to people. So there's a pin right here. And once you put it in this pin, there's a clip that goes over the pin. You beat that thing on, you go to fire the weapon, you know, and uh, after about 300 rounds, that clip will fall out on you. It did to me every single time. Luckily, I was able to find it. One time... I went to go fire it, the, uh, I don't know how long ago it was, I ended up losing the clip after about the fifth or sixth time of me firing it. So then I had a, you know, I'd go fire it and then a pin would almost back out and fall out. I'd have to catch it, it was really annoying. So I put a staple in there and that worked for a little while. So I got sick of the staple and I looked around in my shit and I found an AR spring. I think it was to the safety. I, correct me if I'm wrong. I'm, I, I think it was to the safety. But it fit perfectly right around here and really snug. There's a little lip in there. And I snipped the, the spring. And then it stops from backing out. And it's really tight in there. And I can still take it off if I want to. But there's no need to. You know. Otherwise, once I've been in that tab. Now, before I even been in that tab, I never had a problem with this thing holding zero. It always held true zero ever since I've owned it. Never had a problem with it. Okay. So once I bend in this tab, though, it was really straight. Um, way more solid lockup. I was able to, before I bent in the tab, I was able to wiggle it just a little tiny bit, you know. But it always did hold zero. I mean, it, I, I never really had a problem with it. But once I bend in that tab, it, it's so tight, it's hard to take off, and it's hard to put back on. And that's what you want, man. You want solid lockup. So that's that. Now, the next thing I put on here was the Midwest Handguard. You had to take off some, some material to fit in the receiver, but once you do that, this is solid lockup. But just know you cannot put your cleaning rod in there because there's a little mm, like Allen key that goes in there. And once you screw that in, and it holds it in up against the uh, barrel really tight. So that way there's no wiggle or things that backing out on you or anything. So that way you can't put in your cleaning rod. That's what kind of sucks. So next thing, Olay Odin. Now, a lot of people hate these, and I get why, you know, because you got mod light out there, you got some other good Ariska, shit like that. I've never owned one of them lights. You know, I'm pretty sure that they're fucking awesome. 
you know, but uh, and they're probably built like tanks, much more better than these ones. But I don't exactly have over two hundred dollars to spend on light. This one cost me about one hundred and twelve bucks, and uh, for what I paid for it, how long I've owned it, is awesome. I got two of them. I have a Warrior X Pro that's on one of my ARs, and I have this, and it's perfect for what I use it for. Yes, it's stupid bright, but it's it it hasn't broken on me at all. Now the Warrior Pro I had for about. Mm, I want to say coming up on five years now maybe maybe not that long but but I've had it for a while and it's it's been a solid ass light it's been truly solid you want to I think I had it for about three years I'm sorry um but it's been a solid light and it's been beat up it's been in water you know, you know all different conditions of the weather and it's solid light like I said so the next thing I put on here was the Magpul pistol grip and you know I I happen to love it you know I can keep my batteries in there you know for my red dot or even whenever I rock the EOTech keep a CR123 in there put a little um, piece of a t-shirt around it to stop the rattle and you're gonna go you know I like to keep a little piece of t-shirt or cleaning cloth or whatever people use cleaning cloths I use t-shirts old ones like white beaters and stuff like that just because if I need to clean the rifle too, it's all in there. If some crazy shit ever happened, I got all that in there. And um, the last thing I want to change on this is the wiggle. I, put, I already told you guys I'm going to remedy that. Now I'm going to remedy that with a Romanian gas tube. So I've already took the one off the washer and put it in there. And it was super solid. No wiggle whatsoever. Just really tight lock up. That's what I need. That's what I want. And the ALG is doing great. It's an ALG. A lot of people own those. They're solid ass fucking triggers. Can't beat them. For how much? I do know that I paid like sixty bucks for this ALG. <laughs> now I've seen them and they're going for about a hundred. So it's only going to keep going up and up and up. So if you don't have one, make sure you get one because uh, it's worth it. It's well worth it. And. One thing I do want to mention, though, guys, is whenever you go to get the TWS, if you get the TWS, make sure you get the Ghost Ring sight. Don't do like I did and just get the CWS and wait until later because you're paying for uh, shipping twice. And it's just not worth it. It's not worth it. But that's all I got on this. This is the, the little upgrades I did to this weapon in general. And they've all held true. This is the most recent I put on. And you guys will see me shooting it. I'll be beating the hell out of it. I'll be putting a lot of rounds through it. We'll see how it's going to hold up. I'm not going to be nice to it. See if this, this uh, wedge looks like... um. Like some sort of uh, aluminum, so, you know. I, I think that's what it is, and we're gonna see if it'll hold up. You know, I'm gonna set it down hard. I'm gonna drop it. I'm not gonna do no crazy Robski shit, but if it breaks, it breaks. You know, I don't wanna destroy it on purpose, but I do wanna make sure it works. And if it does break, I'll go back to the old style. And honestly, I won't get another one until J Mac comes in stock. But that's all I got. Be safe. God bless, guys.